Hello everyone, my name is Carrie, and today I will be cash stuffing a total of $980 and this includes my regular paycheck budgeting of $580 plus a $400 cash reward that we cashed in and this is for the second week of May. So let's get into it. In addition to the $980, I have two 50s here as a, a repayment for some of the stuff that we spent on our card and I need to put it in one of our envelopes. So our total that we'll be cash stuffing today is $1,080. So I'm just gonna put that in our cash tray. And then we're gonna get started with our bills and variable expenses binder. Our emergency fund has $1,200 in it. We're not gonna be stuffing it right now, um, but we do have $1,200 in the bank, and this is just a little mini fund that we have going. It is not our full emergency fund. And then extra week is what I've been using to save for extra utilities right before we move into our home, our new home that we purchased. It is This one is going to be getting 200, let's do 250s, trying to get some 50s that aren't quite as nice um, so I can use the nicer ones elsewhere and then 10 15 so this should be 215 100 215 okay great and then so now we have 100 220 40 60 75 so 275 in our extra utilities for when we move into our home which is in about a week from when you're seeing this video actually so that's why I put a little bit of extra in here and we had a $400 bonus that we got from cash rewards so we went ahead and put a hundred dollars of that in there gas is getting at twenty dollars so now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 dollars and I actually need to unstuff about 70 of this still which I will do um, probably I always like to do it like the third week of May or the third week of the month trash and recycle is full um, because that's when we pay our credit card around the 20th of every month annual expenses is getting 10 so now it has 50 70 90 110 120 130 140 150 155 And then health is going to be getting $40. And then it is going to get one of these 50s that I just put in here. So 50, 70, 90, 110 in health. I actually think, I'm not sure if I'll put the other 50 in here or not. It was health related stuff, prescriptions and other things that we purchased. So I probably do need to put that back in here or in medical. I'm not sure. Um, 20 is going into medical. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 420. 420 in medical and the goal of this is to get around a thousand dollars and then just leave it in the bank. Copays is getting five. So now it has 100, 200, 10, 15, 25. So what is that? 225? Yes. Okay, great. I actually might stop stuffing this maybe when we get to 250 or so. I don't need a ton of copay money. Um, this just includes our vision and our dental copays. And um, our medical copay is just basically our medical deductible. Car registration is getting five, and this is probably gonna get $5 every other week or so until this is fully funded, 50, 70, 95, and um, fully funded is $135 or 130. Car care is getting $20. I need to also condense some of this at some point. So now it has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 270. One of these 20s has some tape on it. 
car deductible is fully funded at $1,000. And then this is our car insurance envelope that is my makeshift envelope for now while we're in transit. Um, it is getting $60, 20 40 60 We already paid our car insurance for a six month premium, so this is basically paying ourselves back and then prepping for the next six months. So we have 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450. Um, our total was around 1100, I believe, 1105. And that will be due in October. So we're doing pretty good. All right, moving on to our sinking funds. And I am actually considering doing a bunch more savings challenges in the summer. Um, we'll talk a little bit more when we get to that binder, my savings challenge binder. But I would love your guys' opinion on some savings challenges that you like or have enjoyed or are excited to work on this summer. Because once we move into our house, we will be doing a lot of savings challenges for various home projects, renovations, small things like upgrades around the house. So travel got $100, so now it has $100, $200, $350. And then Christmas gets its normal twenty dollars. So now we have one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, four hundred dollars in Christmas. I might start stuffing this a little bit extra each week, um, maybe starting in June, because um, we want to have like professional Christmas lights installed on our new home for Christmas this year, and I might put a bunch away extra for that. It's not going to be cheap, that's for sure. $20 is going into lawn care, so now it has $60. This will be just for some small like plants and potted things around our house in our new front yard. Household is getting um it's going to get 250s. We'll do these 250s and 220s. Okay, so it's getting 140 total. So now we have 100, 50, 70, 90, 210. Let's see, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 270, um, 290, 310, 330, 345. So $345 in household. This is for all the household things we might need when we move into our home, including toiletries, pantry stock up, things like that. Home decor is getting five. So now we have 6570 in home decor. This is not going to be all the home decor budget that I need for moving into our home because we will need some additional lamps and lighting and probably curtains and stuff like that, but it will be at least somewhat of a start. Family Fun is going to be getting $120, trying to make sure we have some extra money for some fun date nights out. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, so 280 in Family Fun. Mm, let's see, Beauty is going to get 5, so now it has 60. Skincare is going to get 10, so let's see. Now it has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 in skincare. Clothing is also going to get 10. So now it has 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. One of these bills was super ripped when I just was counting it, or it felt like it was. It's weird. Gifts is going to get $20. Some of this I spent on a Mother's Day gift recently. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70. So 170. Also have to put a little bit extra towards some Father's Day gifts. Special occasions is getting 10. Usually it gets 20, but the last couple weeks it's been getting 10. So 100, 200, 20, 30, 40. So 240 in special occasions. This is probably what we're going to end up spending out of for our anniversary every year, which is in December. Um, 
as well as any like friend birthdays or um, special things like anniversaries with our friends or uh, baby showers or anything like that. Um, regular friend birthdays will probably be gifts, but if it's like a milestone or something, maybe it'll be special occasions. And this is kind of a thick binder now. All right, now we're moving on to our savings challenge binder. So this summer, um, actually just in a week or two, we're going to be moving into our new home, and hopefully this is our forever home. It is pretty much our dream home. We're super excited about it. Um, in 5K savings, in our 50-50 savings, we are going to be putting $25. So we're going to go ahead and color in this coin, and then 25 but yeah, we have a lot of things we want to do for the house and a lot of projects, just like small things, you know, like we might repaint a room or get a new lighting fixture or um, maybe redo our bathroom vanity or something like that. Not necessarily like knocking down walls or anything. 150, 70, 90, 210, 235, 40. So 240 plus we already have $2,000 in the bank set aside for this challenge. But yeah, we want. I want to do some smaller savings challenges. Like this one is a big challenge, our five thousand dollar one, and then this one is a thousand. This one is twenty twenty four. So I really want to have some smaller ones, maybe some scratch offs or something like that. Something that we could do in a month, save you know maybe six hundred, five six hundred or a thousand dollars in a month, and then put towards our. Um, project or whatever we're doing to finish out something. Um, we might want to do a wet bar in one of those uh, places in our basement for like our entertainment room. We are also putting 25 in our thousand dollar savings challenge here. So we're going to color in this one and then put 25. All right, so now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 5, 75. So 475 in our $1,000 savings challenge. I don't have anything in particular I'm using this challenge for. Um, this one right here, a lot of it has already or is going to be going to moving costs once we move in and you know upgrades that we're going to do like new carpet and stuff so that two thousand dollars and everything that is in the bank right now will be going towards that but this one doesn't have a particular chat or um goal yet and then our 2024 savings challenge which is a challenge that i created and this is downloadable for free it's all cleared out obviously you'll get like a blank template a printable that you can download uh it's in the link in the description below if you'd like to check that out so we are going to be doing $15 this week. But yeah, so if there are any uh, savings challenges that you really like that are like a smaller denomination or they, um, so now we have 35 in cash and then we already have 500, 600, 700, 800 in the bank. I would love to know any suggestions you have or any shops that you really enjoy buying savings challenges from or a lineup of savings challenge, maybe summer, um, a summer theme or something like that. That'd be really fun. So this one is um, going to be getting $10 and this is was a winter savings challenge and I started it in like January and it has taken me a really long time <laughs> to get through. Um, so we'll see how that how that works out here shortly. So we're going to put $10 in here. Um, so, so far we have 120, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. Is that 185? Yeah. And then we're going to color in two snowflakes. And then I'm trying to do $10 every week. So we have just a few weeks, a handful of weeks left. And the total saved for this is $235. And then for the um, third week of May, we are going to be saving $30 in here. And I do have uh, some money left in my tray, but we will 
we will take care of that shortly. So we're going to put 30 in here. So now we have 50, 70, 80, 85. And this is for the third week of, sorry, do I keep saying third? Second week, second week of May, um, as you can see here. So good on that. This is a savings challenge from the fancy dollar. And then all the other savings challenges are also listed in my description, including the free one that you can download that I created. So this 50, I believe, goes in the health envelope. And then this one is actually supposed to go in my spending for the second week of May for my wallet for just like my personal spending but I did not bring my wallet downstairs and I'm not gonna go get it right now so <laughs> I will set this aside for my personal spending and then we're going to go put this um, let's see yeah we'll go put it in our health I'm not sure if I wanna put it in health or like extra utilities and stuff but I think health makes sense um, and that's fine. So now we have 50, 120, 40, 60. So 160. And we do use this a lot for vitamins, supplements, prescriptions, stuff like that. So, all right, that is it. There's no more cash in the tray. That will do it for the second week of May's budget. Thank you so much for um, joining me for this cash stuffing. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.